This is an avocado. <laughs> well, why did you bring an avocado? Because it's nice and soft. Like my brain matter. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I got a funny feeling. Climax trailer starring Mia Malkova and it's directed by Ram Gopal Varma, who is a, a, a genius. He did Enter the Girl Dragon, which uh, I didn't see the film, but the trailer made me happy. I still want to see that film. I am determined to watch it. I'd rather watch Satya, to be honest. So, Climax, the name seems like it's um, a triple entendre. It's hiding some deeper inner meaning that cannot be deciphered just by looking at the title of the movie, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it's a very, very subtle uh, title for a film. Exactly. I think it's about a mountain. Right. Hitting the Hitting climactic the climax point. of that oh, mountain. Yes. The which means getting to the top. I think to it's about Mount Everest. Right. I don't know what gave you that idea. But there's a woman. There's certainly mountains involved, too, I would say. And, um, and maybe a valley in between. And a valley in between the two mountains. So let's check this out. Hey. Hey. That was a nice cinematic shot. <laughs> oh dear. That's a pretty hard sign to miss, but I guess when you're kissing each other instead of paying attention to the road, whoa. Wow. Uh, I think someone cut her shorts the wrong way. Wow, they were like really making out. She's not wearing, oh, I thought she wasn't wearing any underwear. Oh man, lady, cover yourself. Hey, well, it's even Stevens. I mean, they're both, in, you know, half naked. He's got long shorts on. You know, you're never satisfied, are you? Oh, all right. Yeah, good, get rid of him. <laughs> no one wants to look at him anyway. So far, the acting is stellar. There are so many species happening in the desert. Oh my. Um. What's happening? Lady. Well, at least with this one, it's very obvious like what it's about. With Enter the Girl Dragon, it's like, we're doing this cool fight movie with a girl and the, it's like, okay. I thought that was more obvious than this one, actually. This one I, is I, like, I have to strongly disagree with you. Hi there, this is an erotic th thriller. There we go. It's, it's so erotic that it, it disables you from being able to say the word thriller properly. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. It inhibits your ability to speak at ease. Mm -hmm. What did we watch just now? It was like a weird hills have eyes in the desert with nakedness. You know, I gotta give him credit though. He's been doing exactly what the F he wants to do. Yeah, fair enough. He's He has no shame at all. He's making this film unabashedly going, this is what I want to show you. This is what I want to look at, it's what you want to look at, we're looking at it together. What's the problem? Exactly. <laughs> you ju you're just judging yourself inside of what's happening. I got no judgment here for myself. It's his attitude. You yeah. Know, he, he wants to see what he wants to see. I just wish he'd pick better actresses. Well, well, at least a better actress in this particular case. And he tried to make it even Stevens in the beginning there showing the dude as well, who had a sculpted body. Like, in, yeah, in, yeah. All, in all fairness. He had a nice body. Comparing the two, like, all things being even, his body looked better than hers. He's hit the gym for, uh, yes. for several more hours than she has. Throughout the trailer, and I mean no shame towards her at all, at all, because I think she's got a great body. Objectively speaking, she's not as toned as him. No. By any stretch. She's like, I, I don't, she's soft and voluptuous. I don't you know? have a problem with that, mm -hmm. personally. It's just, I just noticed that 
she's not as toned as he is. And it was just an interesting choice as a, like, why did he choose that? Is it because he feels that the Indian audience would prefer to see a woman who has more than the average American, you know what I'm saying? Like, in terms of meat. Because, like, the, the average American actress, I should say. Like, when you, in yeah, Hollywood. In Hollywood, they like, usually skew very skinny. For instance, when I watched the Charlize Theron film where she's kicking everybody's ass, Atomic Blonde, yes. you see a lot of her body, and I just noted in my brain how skinny, how close to skin and bones she looked. Yeah, and very it, lean. And it really bothered me because I was like, there's no way she's taking on men 340 pounds when she looks like that. I just didn't buy it. She looks more like that's just. You know, that's how a person looks when they're not mm -hmm. at the gym all the time, right? He looked like he was at the gym all the time. I don't know how. Yeah, he, he, there's a lot of, you know, birthday suits going on here, and I don't know why. It just it, it just happens, and it's because it that's what he wanted. Yeah. You know, there was a part of my let me let me just like reveal uh, a RGV part of my own brain, right? I actually thought a long time ago, a long time ago, what if there was a movie? where people had to duke it out naked. In my mind, it was women, but then they made the movie Eastern Promises where Viggo Mortensen is literally naked and he's like the most vulnerable he could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Now, there was nothing that was uh, meant to be an exhibition in Eastern Promises. It was completely called for. It was called for in so in far as scene. it's a situational thing. It made sense because he was in a bathhouse. Yes. And then they just happened to jump him in there. Like, what's he supposed to do? Go, hold up guys, time yeah. out. Let me just the, put some clothes the on. The story I had in my brain was similar in which it was a vulnerability sort of thing and a humiliation sort of thing. That's where I was coming from in terms of constructing fight scenes around those concepts. Right. Whereas here, it's just happening because. And I don't necessarily <laughs> mind that because what's the difference between this and Fast and Furious, honestly? Like, there is craziness happening in Fast and Furious where it's just for the sake of it, it's just because you, you want to see explosions, you want to see nutso bolutso action happening. And so I am in full defense of this. At least you know what you're getting. He's not shameful about it, he has no qualms about it, he's going for it. I'm not saying this is high caliber filmmaking. I'm not saying it's it's uh, high highbrow by any stretch. I commend him for doing exactly what the fuck he wants to do and not being shameful about it, not being abashed. Abashed? Well, sure. Yeah, there you go. That's a word. He's not being abashed in his effort to make this story. He knows his audience, he knows what he wants, and it's got 17,000 motherfucking upvotes over 1,000 downvotes. So, okay, so clearly yeah, people like this. Lots of people are liking it. I yes. mean, I, I've, I've- I thought she was terrible as an actress though. Oh my God. Uh, she, she, she's got a nice body, but she's got, ter she's not acting very well. Other, she, than, other than when she was like, oh my God, poof, that, that was the only part that she did well in my opinion. Well, yeah, I didn't think the acting was particularly great in this, but to be fair, I believe they're Russian. So they're they're speaking in a language that's not their mother tongue. I'm making an excuse. It wasn't great. But well, plenty that, of Russians that act pretty well. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, I'm just, you know, just trying to make an excuse for her, but I don't think she was hired for her exceptional acting skills. She was hired for other skills. You know, the concept of this is fascinating to me because I would expect this kind of film to be made by a white man. And what I mean by that is, you have two white people in a vulnerable position being attacked by minorities, at least from the Western perspective, right? Mm. That's the films you'd see over here, uh, traditionally, where you have the white people in trouble being attacked by, you know. Random people. Hillbillies. Pe pe people who are not white. Oh yeah. You, you know, people of a different skin color. The Indians are the bad guys here, attacking the white people, and I'm like, is there some other message here that I'm not deciphering from this beyond what seems to be like just soft core? You know, I'm I'm just, I'm confused. Yeah. You know, like why he would take that approach. Did she fall in love with an Indian dude at some point? And is he showing multicultural love d despite the fact that it's embedded in this soft core situation? You know, I, I'm just wondering if, the, if it goes deeper than what is very visibly on the surface, which is right. why is she naked? <laughs> exactly. You know, some of those shots were qu quite uh, situated appropriately. I'm not gonna lie, as a dude, that's where I wanna be. That's that's what I, I'm like, yeah, that's where, you know, you just get a little, there was yeah. this, a long time ago, I was in gymnastics, and there was this weird thing you had to do, I told you the story, there was this weird movement you had to do where you kind of rolled forward, and then you came with your feet out, like an X out, and you pushed up between your crotch to stand up. I can't show you guys, but you roll forward, and then you push up with your legs spread. There was a girl in the class with these shorty, 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 loose shorts. There was a dude next to me who was looking at exactly where my brain wanted me to look, but I was fighting hard not to. And he was in the side going, 
literally that loud. I fell over laughing. Cause, cause he was reacting he the way- himself. He was reacting the way I felt inside. That's why I was laughing so hard. If I'm on set and I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to like look up and be a gentleman while my brain wants to do that. But the camera is doing all the work for you. The camera is yeah. like, hello. And then the costume design, she was missing at least four inches from her shorts. Her was, shorts was, were, were was, not she, shorts. She was missing inches all over the place. You ask as a, as, a, as a film goer, why? Why is the camera there? And then Ram Gopal Varma says, because, period. <laughs> and you just shut the fuck up and that you got what you wanted out of that. You know, people have criticized me for, okay, Race 3 is the classic one. That's the famous one now. Jabby likes Race 3, what's up with that? I never watched Race 3, but I was fine with the trailer. Why? Because I knew exactly what I was getting. It wasn't lying to me, telling me it was gonna be highbrow art house cinema. It told me it was gonna be a, a crazy action fest that was nonsensical to the max and sometimes that's what you want. It's just popcorn. This is popcorn softcore. <laughs> Pop popcorn, 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 popcorn softcore. Okay. I don't know if I said it correctly the first time. Popcorn <laughs> softcore. No, totally. Popcorn softcore. But, you know, hmm. there were some. Th Pop popcorn softcorn. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> popcorn softcorn. That's what we're going with. But there were definitely some shots which were aesthetic. You know, like they were Oh, beautiful. I thought there were plenty of that, shots that were aesthetic in that there. That first shot, the aerial shot over the desert, I thought was pretty. I didn't, I didn't clip, I didn't uh, see that no. one. No, I, I... You were like, straight for the goods. Let's, where is this? Where is the climax? It was a little hilarious. I mean, it's almost like a B horror movie, you know, a B yeah, film, horror film. Totally. Cause, it, cause some it's of the, leaning into that. Some of those shots were just like, it could not have been more pervy, is what I'm trying to say. There were certain shots where it was like, it was right on there. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's fine. Ram, Ram Gopal Varma wants to tell the story he wants to tell. He's doing a lot of stuff right now. Like he's he's working, he's like, whatevs. I'm doing my own thing. I don't know if he's got his own channel or something that he's putting this stuff out Here, on. Here's but the thing, it's like, hey. here's the thing. You know, people can shit on him, but if he's happy and people are going to his film and they're happy, what's your problem? Yeah, there's an audience like, for everything. What's your problem? Honestly, at the end of the day, what's your problem? If he's happy, his audience is happy, what's your problem? Anyone who who has a problem with this, I challenge you to look at your goddamn browser history. Incognito tabs. What are you looking at? Go ahead, I'll give you a chance to go look right now. I guarantee you, it's something like that. So what's your problem? Or worse. Or, or much worse. This is soft. Core. This is, what What did we come up with? Popcorn soft corn. That's, That's right. what we said. So, there you go. Popcorn soft corn.